So welcome back. Um, so this is the structure of the eye. And if you are, this was a human anatomy class, then we would talk more about the different parts of the eye. Um, for the purpose of this class, this uh, describes my own limited vocabulary about the anatomy of the eye. Essentially, cornea, which represents sort of the outermost surface of the eye. And there's a, I guess it's not labeled, but we would call this entire arrangement as the lens of the eye. Yeah. And um, the, only, the other thing is the retina. That's sort of my own limited vocabulary of the eye. Um, I'm not quite sure what fovea is. That might be the point on the retina that's uh, right along the axis. That would be your middle of your field of vision, maybe. And this little optic disc where the optic nerves go through. If you've heard of a, a blind spot that your eye has, um, somewhere around like here in your field of view, then that's related to that little hole that's in your nerve, uh, in your retina. Um, but I mean, if you're interested in the human eye, you can read that on your own. I'm never gonna test you on it. My own limited vocabulary of the eye is cornea, lens, and retina. <laughs> and this is what, uh, in terms of physics, that's what uh, these words mean. So lens, it means what you think it means. It's uh, the focusing element of your eye. And we are often going to simplify this, this being one single lens. It's not quite accurate because this uh, vitreous humor, it's not air. It, you know, it has some index of refraction that's not one. Um, um, for most of the problems, we are going to pretend that this has index of refraction of one. <laughs> we are just going to. Um, it's a necessary simplification. And what this retina is, this is our screen. So our eye forms a real image. And this retina is the location where that real image is formed and that real image is located. So imagine this is your eye and you're looking at something, that process of looking at something that forms a real image. So let's say, um, what I, so I don't know. Let's say I'm looking at that Van de Graaff generator, right? So when I look at the Van de Graaff generator, the light rays from the Van de Graaff generator goes through the lens of my eye, and a real image forms on this side. Um, will it be right side up or inverted? Inverted, yeah. So I will have uh, inverted Van de Graaff generator that looks like this on my retina. And your brain does the job of inverting it back because uh, you don't walk around thinking everything is upside down. Um, but so this is where the image has to form or it won't be in focus. When people are either nearsighted or farsighted, what happens is that, um, the, so this lens, with these muscles, you can change the focal length of the lens. But as you get older or you do to congenital defect or whatever, sometimes there's a limit to it and when the light rays are coming in parallel, you cannot form a focus here. Instead, the focus forms too close. That would be a nearsighted person. Um, or if you are a farsighted person, when an object is spaced too close, then you cannot make this focal length short enough to form the image here. Instead, the image forms way out here. So, so those are the cases when you're, something's not in focus. But when something is in focus, this is the location where the, image, the real image has to form. So when you look at something through your eye, then this is always going to be your image distance. That's something you have to know as you're working through some of the homework questions. Because when you look, read the question, it'll look like they didn't give me enough information. Well, they gave you enough information when they told you what the distance from the lens of your eye to the retina was. Because that has to be the image distance for something to be in focus. Good? OK. So um, you know, if I were to just uh, draw a picture uh, to just to complete this, what it would look like is 
Um, so just a you know, picture of what it looks like when you are looking at something. Um, so let's say you are just, uh, um, let's say you are looking at an object that's placed somewhere here. And uh, for the purpose of drawing this, actually, sorry, I'm not going to draw this to scale, other than that I will be able to do the ray tracing. Let's just say focal length of your eye is something like this. This is my focal length. The real realistic focal length is, I think it's actually longer. The realistic focal length should be actually something closer to this. But I'm just drawing this for the purpose of my diagram. So let's say this is the focal length. And let's say I have an image here. This is a configuration that I have happened to memorize. That will form the, um, I have an object here. This is a configuration that happens to, um, I, I know it all from there. So when you look at this object, so when this is an object, and when you look at it, then this is what happens to the light that's coming from this object. You can do the ray tracing and see what it does. The light that goes in parallel, um, bends in such a way it goes through the focal point, Light that goes through the middle, doesn't bend, goes straight, and it forms an image somewhere here. And when this, um, when the light falling on these um, optic sensors, cones and rods, uh, stimulate, so the light rays stimulate the cones and rods in your eye, that's uh, where you sense that visual image of that object there. Okay. Now, here's the reason um, I drew this picture. Does anything change if this source of light is not real object? Instead, this is a real image of, um, formed by another optical element. So instead of this being a, a physical object that's placed here, imagine this setup instead. Imagine that, um, Imagine that your actual object was way out here. And not only that, actual object was upside down. But the only reason um, something appeared to be here was there was a focusing lens here. And when you go through the ray tracing, this focusing lens, oops, I'm not drawing, drawing this too much of a hurry. Um, the only reason the light rays appear to come from here, it was because of this arrangement. My actual object was here. It, sorry, let me slow down. Um, parallel goes through this, focus, and, something like this, uh, it's close enough. So the only reason my eye was seeing something here was actually there was, the, this was the real object. This was the object, and what my eye was seeing, um, this wasn't the actual object, it was the image being formed by this lens here. So here's the question. As far as this real image on the retina of my eye is concerned, does that make a difference? It doesn't. In, hmm? Yeah, it doesn't. In fact, I can find these exact rays that, um, that can trace their origin all the way back to here. This is how. So um, let me do it with the green. So let me do this ray because this is the easy one. I think the other one um, won't be a real ray that actually goes through the lens. So this ray that's uh, coming in parallel to the axis, it would have come from way back here, right? Way back here. So this is a ray that would have come from here, go through a focal point, and goes through here. So, it, so this ray, when you trace it from here, here, bends here, through here, 
and eventually ends up here. And that comes in focus with, um, let's say, some other ray that went, um, I don't know what other ray I can draw that would be reasonably easy. So in, you know, if I'm trying to draw this ray, then to do, draw a physical ray that corresponds to this, you would have to imagine the lens is much bigger. Then this ray would come to here, and to imagine there's an actual lens here still. Then that ray would have come from here, went through this part of the lens, and bent that way to go through and end up there. So, when you are looking at something, looking at either an object or an image with your eye, uh, they look the same. There is no, your eye cannot tell difference between object and image. They both form a real image on your retina like, you know, either of them would. Now, you know, as you move around a little bit, the object looks, you know, the normal, the way they look normal. Images usually look a bit more, um, they look different because as you move around, you see that there's, it's more like a mirage. There's nothing actually there. So that's how you can tell um, when you are looking at something, it's a real image rather than an actual object. You will see more of this in your lab on Thursday. I think that will probably be a better <laughs> experience. But I just want you to start out with this statement. Um, let me end, with the, end the discussion of structure of the eye with this. So here you are looking at a real image here, right? If you're guessing my question. Uh, would anything change if this was, instead of real image, a virtual image? Would you still form a real image on the retina of your eye? Yeah, you would. Let me draw the picture so that you can kind of see it. Um, in fact, this is how we use magnifying glass. So, um, so let's see. If we wanted to look at something, um, so like the syllabus, for example, if you wanted to make something appear really, really big, what would you do to it? Look, there's something very simple you can do to make this real appear really big. Yeah, bring it closer. So, right? <laughs> so you might bring it closer to your eye, but at some point, something would happen. You cannot focus on this anymore. Uh, that happen, that relates to the limitation of your lens. Your focal length of your lens can be only short, so short. So once this becomes close enough, then your eye cannot form the real image on your retina. It goes out beyond the retina, and if this is close enough, then, you know, you, does something else. So, so that's why, you know, if you just want something to appear big, you cannot simply bring it super close to your eye. There's usually the closest point where you can barely focus, that's called the near point. Your textbook talks about it, read it please. Uh, for textbook problems, you should use near point of 25 centimeters. But for most of you, you'll find that your near point is actually shorter, whatever. So, but let's say you have an object that's super close. You have an object that uh, mm, you have on. You have an object that is here. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, very, you have a small object that's placed very close to your eye. Do I want to place it that close? Probably not that close. Let me place it here. Um, it's a matter of uh, if I can draw the proper diagram. Um, you have an object that's placed very close to your eye. Um, so um, as you try to focus on this object, if you are you know, trying to see if uh, this will form a focus at this retina, it doesn't. You can do the ray tracing and then you will see. But let me just do that in green. When you do the ray tracing, this is what it looks like. And this goes through the middle. And you know, the focus forms way out there. So you don't see a sharp image on the, uh, on the retina. 
but there is a way um, to be able to focus on this object that's placed very close to you. What you can do is you can place a, um, you can place a converging lens here, and this converging lens will form a virtual image that's farther away, far enough away that you can actually focus on. So let me draw that picture here. Um, let me use blue color. So if I place a converging lens here, let's say, Uh, focal length of something like this. I'm just trying to draw the diagram. I don't actually <laughs> care what the value is. Then as you look through this lens at this object, this is what the rays will look like. The rays will look like they are following this path. So I'm just doing the ray tracing, you know. Ray that's going parallel to the axis goes through the focal point. Ray that's going through the middle of the lens goes straight. You see they are diverging. To see where they converge, you have to extend this back. And I'm just going to pretend that they kind of extend back here. So, um, so it looks like this is where the virtual image forms. And the, for the purpose of the image that's forming in your eye, None of what's going on here matters. The only thing that matters, oh, let me get rid of a bunch of these lines. Um, the only thing that your eye sees is what's happening locally near the eye. You have these two rays here, right? You have these rays that are going through the um, I, that way, and I guess this is kind of hard to draw. These will bend in such a way that, oh, I guess this won't bend. I don't think I drew this quite right. So this ray will bend in such a way that they form a focus way out at the, well, if I drew it correctly, it'll form a fo uh, focus at the retina, and that's where the image will be. So. Um, so whether your optical system has a real image, virtual image, or no image at all, just the object, what's happening at the very end is the same for all of them. You take the very last thing that your optical arrangement forms, and that forms a real image on the retina. And that's what you are seeing. That's the mechanism of how you uh, look at anything. <coughs> 